So now in this video, we'll see how to set a name thread and we'll talk about the priorities of the thread. So we'll start with the name first. So what I will do now is before before doing all this any stuff, if, before even starting the thread, what we can do is let's print the name of the thread. So do we have a name for the thread? Let's try that. Let me print t one dot get name. So you can see we have a name for the thread. And if I try to run this code, you can see it is printing the thread zero. Let's try to do that with the second thread here. We'll say copy paste and let's make it as t two. And if you run this code, of course, it will print thread one, right? So by default, when you create the first thread, the name will be thread zero. The second thread will be thread one. Okay, can we change the thread name? Because I don't like this thread name. So there are multiple ways you can do this. One is you can, can you say set name? Yes, we can do that. We can say this is simply say hi. And then we'll say t2 dot set name. We'll say this is hello. So we can also set the thread name. You can see. Uh, of course it will let's say this is high thread itself and this is hello thread and if I run this code you can see it is printing high thread and hello thread that means you can also set the name for the thread now why it is important is because let's say you're working on an application where you have multiple threads and you don't know which thread is doing what uh, because sometimes it is very difficult to manage threads right so it's always better to name to give a name to a thread so that you can use it later so this is how you can set the name there's another way is when you create the object of thread, it will ask you for it will ask you for two parameters. Uh, the first one is which one you will be using now? This one. So if you can see this constructor here, it is asking you for the object of runnable and it is also asking for the name. Again, you can also you can only pass the runnable object or you can only pass the name, but you can pass both. You can pass the runnable object and you can also pass the name. So what we can do here is. If you look at this code, this is the object of runnable, right? And if you give a comma, and you, you can also mention the name here of the thread. We can say this is high thread. Now, same thing can be done here. We can say this is hello thread. I mean, we can also do that. If you run this code, you can see we got high thread and hello thread. So that's how you can give the name for the thread. Now, what next? Can we can we uh, get the priorities? Let me remove this uh, name thing. We have done with name. We, uh, I hope you got the concept of name here. Let me remove that. Let me just make this code more simple. And let's talk about the thread priority now. Now by default, whenever you create any thread, it will have the default priority. Let's try to fetch the default priority first. We'll simply print the priority of the thread. We'll simply say this is t1.get priority. It will give you the current priority. We'll do it for both. For t2 dot get priority, so if we got priority for both the both the objects, so you can see for both the objects we got five. So the priority for thread one is five. The priority for thread two is also five. So by default they both have the same priority, which is five. So what's the range of priority? So the range of priority goes from one to ten. So one means least priority and ten means highest priority, and five is normal priority. So now. Can I change this priority? Yes, we can do that. We can say t1 dot set priority and we can say this is 1. And here we can say t2 dot set priority and we can say this is 10. So we are changing the priority of both the things. So we are setting t1 1 and we are setting t2 as 10. And if you run this code now, you can see we got 1 and 10. So 1 is the least priority and 10 is the highest priority. Now, Sometimes it is difficult to remember numbers, right? Because it is not that readable. It is a bit confusing that, let's say after five years or two years, you're saying this, okay, we have set the priority one, but what is one? Is it least or, is least or highest? Difficult to remember, right? So that's why we can also use some, we can also use some constant. So we can say thread dot uh, mean priority. So it means that it will give you one, and we can say this is thread dot max priority so this these are the inbuilt constants available in threads so if i go to max priority inside thread class you can say the value of max priority is 10 the minimum priority is 1 you can set the normal priority which is 5 so even if you don't set the priority it will give you 5 so that's how you set the priority and if i run this code of course it will give you 1 and 10 let's say i want to know the priority in the thread itself so after printing high i want to print the thread priority so what we can do is we can say so we can say this is thread dot so you can see it says current thread dot get priority it will print the priority of that current thread so you can say it is printing 
hello hi one hi one hi one because the priority of that thread is one so if you want to refer to the current thread in the same thread itself so inside the thread if you want to refer the thread we need to say current thread current thread will refer to the current thread okay so that's about the name and the priority in threads